Hey everybody, ever wanted to learn how to paint neon signs? I have a tutorial where I am teaching how to paint neon signs with tropical colors. If you are like me and you are hibernating from this summer heat, join along. I am Catherine from the Pigeon Letters Design Team and I can't wait to show you how to do this. Items you need to create this neon painting include a set of watercolors. I use tropical colors. If you have neon colors, even better. Uh, I have a kneaded eraser. I have watercolor paper that is about four and a half by six inches, and it is pretty heavy, so I think it's 140 pounds. I have a round pigeon letters brush number six, and a round number two pigeon letters brush, and a pencil. Not shown, I have a couple containers of water for my watercolors. Before I begin to paint, I thought I would show you how to trace an image onto watercolor paper. I have included this principle that has the palm tree, the pineapple, and the flamingo. And if you would like to trace this on your paper so you don't have to draw your own, you are more than welcome to do that. You can put this into a window and put the watercolor paper over it and trace it, but that doesn't always work, especially if the weather isn't cooperating. So a trick to tracing on watercolor paper, because you can't see through it, it's too thick, is to flip over your, design, your paper and shade the lines on the back with pencil. The heavier and the messier you do this, the better it will trace. So I'm only going to do one leaf right now. So as you can see, I've shaded that where that leaf is. Now I'm going to put my watercolor paper back down. I'm going to line this up on it where I want it. This only works with pencil. It doesn't work with pen or marker. And then I'm going to trace over the leaf that I shaded. So I'm going to trace each side of this line. So there's one, and there's two. You need two lines when doing neon art. You need a lot, you need the middle part to be able to stay white so that's why these lines on here are so thick you don't want to shift your paper around a lot then i'm going to pick up my paper and you should be able to see where i've traced so i'm going to move this away i'm not going to trace the whole thing right now but you should be able to see the lines lightly and you want to keep them light if they don't show up dark enough for you you can go back and redraw so that's how you can trace onto watercolor paper from something else i thought i would show how to paint neon before I get into painting the full palm tree. So this is the leaf I just traced and I thought I would show you a little bit about how the neon works. You need two lines for whatever it is you choose to do in neon. You need a line on each side so that this part in the middle will stay white. That's how you make the neon look like neon. So whether you want to do a word in neon or something else in neon, you need two lines. The closer together the lines, the more the neon looks like it glows. But this in between here has to stay white. I chose tropical colors for my designs. So you can choose whatever colors you would like. This actually will work with watercolor paint, acrylic paint, colored pencils, chalk, anything that you can blend out, you can use the same technique to create the neon. So it doesn't have to just be watercolor. All right, so to make my leaf look like neon, what you're gonna do, actually I think I'm gonna draw a line on here. So I'm gonna put a line so you can kind of see it easier. So here's my two lines, this is my middle and I'm going to use my green and you'll notice I have a dark and a light green that's going to be for the leaves I have a 
dark and a light orange, that's going to be for the tree trunk because I thought orange neon would look better than brown neon. So I'm going to put that down there. And then what I'm going to do is start by getting a little bit of that green, the light green. And I'm going to draw a line across here. I think I'll zoom in so you can see it a little better. So with my line, I want my brush, the tip of my brush pointed towards the middle so that this gives me a nice hard edge on my watercolor. So the brush point always points towards the middle. And I start with my lighter green. Then I'm going to rinse my brush so there's no paint on it, just water. And I'm going to fade that line out so that this side doesn't have that hard edge. And I fade it out until it gets to the white of the paper. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I've got my brush with my light green paint. My point of my brush goes towards that line, the white line in the middle. And then I'm going to fade it out. Then once I've done that, I come back in with a little bit of green paint, the darker green. Turn this back around. And I'm going to put that green paint right against that edge. Same thing, fade it out. So it looks like that. I'm going to come around, turn this around again. I'm constantly turning my paper with this so that the tip of my brush is against that white center. So it's like that. Rinse my brush with so that I just have the clear water on it. And I rinse it a lot as I fade this out. And that's how the neon should look as you go around. You can do this, like I said, with any media that blends. You could use watercolor, you can use colored pencil. You can do it with any color that will blend as long as you can have a blended edge and a dark edge and you leave that white line in the middle. The next step is to paint the palm tree. So this one I have already traced onto my watercolor paper. I'm going to use my kneaded eraser and lighten it a little bit by just pressing down. I don't have to rub back and forth so I don't get all those little eraser pieces all over my paper. So I'm just going to press down with my kneaded eraser and lighten this so the lines don't show quite as much through the paint. Okay, I am going to start by painting the tree trunk. So I have a light orange and a darker orange. So if you'd like to see those colors, like I said, I thought it would look better than brown. Here is the lighter orange. This is my darker orange. So I'm going to use those two colors to make that glowing feel to the tree trunk. All right, so I have my round number six brush and I'm going to start by using the light orange. And I'm going to, again, put my point towards the inside of that palm tree. So I'm going to bring that all the way around here to the bottom. This is the easy part because it's the smooth lines. Then I'm going to rinse my brush and blend it out. And I'm going to keep rinsing my brush and blending it out so that I don't have any of those hard edges on the outside to help give it that glow feel. And you can already start to see it looks like it's glowing a little bit already. I'm going to pick up my dark orange and just go around that inside edge again. Just like that. 
If I have an area that just looks a little bit too dark, I rinse my brush and then I can pick up a little bit of that color. And blend it out. And I just kind of take my time doing this. It's pretty relaxing to just kind of paint. So I'm going to go around the outside of my, finish going around the outside of the palm tree. The outside of my palm tree trunk is finished, so I'm going to move on to the outside of the leaves. I don't like to do the inside right away, I like to give it a chance to dry. So I'm going to turn my paints around to my dark and light green, get those wet again, and I'm going to do the outside of each one of the palm fronds. And my paper, I turn all different directions while I'm doing this so that I can keep the point of my brush towards that inside part. And then I just blend those two green to orangey color together. So there's the green. I'm going to fade that out. Let that sit for a minute and do the other side. A little close in there but it'll still work it's okay if you're faded out bleeds together and then I'm going to go back in with my a little bit darker green time with a clear water. Make sure your water is clean or it will not do well when you fade it out. So I always have two cups of water, one for rinsing my brush and one for the clean water so that that doesn't show when I fade it out. And darker colors are a little bit harder to fade out. All right, so there is one outside of the leaf. I'm going to continue and do the rest of the outside of the palm leaves. Okay, I have finished going around the outside with a neon. Hopefully you can already see it's starting to have that feeling like it's glowing. The next part is I'm going to do the inside of the tree trunk. So, because this has dried while I was going around the other. So, I'll turn my paint around. Get my paints wet again. And then 
I'm going to do that inside part. So when I do the inside, same thing, start with a light. There are areas where your paint colors might bleed together. That's all right. So I'm gonna start with that white or light, leaving that white line in the center. Again, the smaller that center white line is, the more it's gonna feel like it's glowing. So I, mine's not as thin as I would like it, but for this, it's easier to see. So there's my first light color. I'm gonna blend it out again. It may touch the other side as I blend it out. That's okay. It'll still work. Then I'm going to go in with my darker orange. And just let it bleed through. Turn this and you can see how it does. I'm just going to keep going around the tree trunk. Okay, my tree trunk is finished. It should feel like it has that glowing effect. I'm going to move on to the leaves. So back to the green. my water in my green and then it's the same thing I'm going to continue turn this and I'm going to continue with my my lighter green first And I'm gonna blend it out again. If I blend it out and it hits the other side there, it's not gonna hurt anything. Just kind of makes it look like it's glowing more. And then my darker paint. Now, where it gets down in these teeny tiny points, that's where I come in with that little bitty number two brush, one of my favorite, favorite brushes. They always have the best points on them. And I can then get down in those tiny, tiny little inside areas with that. Or I can take this and kind of go back and touch up anywhere it doesn't look very smooth with that little brush. And again, always blending it back out with clean water. So I'm gonna continue doing the inside of those leaves.
All right, one little neon palm tree finished. So there's the little neon palm tree. Here is the pineapple that I've done. So you can see that, the greens are the same, the yellow is a little different. And then there is the flamingo. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create neon sign art with watercolor. If you decide to follow this tutorial, I would love to see your artwork. Please tag me. My Instagram is Catherine Urban Art, and I would absolutely love to see it. Thanks for watching.